one thing. What was the limitation here? The limitation was that this, when we were deriving our equation, we actually got what? We actually got that the line of the image and the source charge is the same. Right? Like we wrote y minus y prime. So we are actually restricting the charge here to be on this point, which is the surface. When you go this way, then you are actually going at a fixed distance, but regarding the charge you are going away from it. You are going away from that point where the induced charge was occurring. And that's why your surface charge density is decreasing. When you are at this much distance, at this much distance, y by a equals 4, then when you move here, then according to this point, the sphere distance is not changing that much. If you will be here, at this point, then there will be almost slight change in the induced charge because the, the surface will be coming point to you. So on the point the charge will be almost everywhere then. And then you can have that for a very very far point your induced charge will be almost changing like this. Clear? So the closer you are to the surface of the sphere, your movement will give you more charge, so more change. Sorry. And that's as you set up the relativity. As you set up the relativity, general theory of relativity, I will give you one example. You know the black hole that we saw is much much far away. How much? 4.5 billion light years away. But there is a black hole in our galaxy as well, which is just 1 billion light years away. Much, much near. Then why we are not able to see it first than that one? In order to see this one, in order to see this one, means your field of view does matter. Like, in order to see such a far black hole or such a far star, your field of view will be in millions of a uh, second, like microsecond r. Right? Field of view will be very, very less if something is far away. And that thing is moving so you can uh, means your telescope should be much bigger. Your, the size of the telescope should be approximately the size of the earth, which is not possible. So, what they did, the horizon telescope, what they did, they just, you can say, put one telescope here. So, earth is rotating and that thing is in view is it is going out of the view of this telescope. Another telescope on the earth has been placed there and then it start taking data. As it goes this, another comes in. They install different telescopes, let's say 4, 5 or 10 different places of the globe and they were collecting their data. Because it was very far, it was not going away from the field of view. Now if something is closer, something is closer, then it will go very quickly out of the field of view. So you will have hundreds of, you require hundreds of telescopes there in order for this to be in view. And that's the reason that we didn't saw, uh, we didn't see the, our nearest black hole and the farthest one has been observed. Right? Same thing is here. Means this is just the field of view. If you are far away, then the radius of the sphere and something moving on that one is not that uh, is not you can say that great matter. You are close to it and you move, so that point is really very really, uh, close, and then it does matter because you are fixing it here. Clear? <coughs>
So we will change the distance is ratio y1 a ratio fix. That is fix. Yes, that is fixed. And we are only changing p. Yes. So the effect of the point charge and source charge and uh, surface charge density mm. and sigma. That is very uh, from the graph as we see there. So that is actually I think uh, according to the relativity that is why uh, I answer. No, 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 not that one. You see here, we are fixing the source charge at this point because we are considering it along this line y minus y prime. And you are now moving your observation point. Your observation point is earlier here. Now you are moving your observation point from there. Clear? Yes. So you are moving your observation point, and your observation point is actually measuring the reduced charge density. How much it feels that how much charge has been induced. So, for example, if we have a sphere, let's consider an object, physical object, and we place at some distance uh, a point charge, like another sphere, and we are observing it from uh, different dimensions. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, at different points, we will uh, observe different surface charge density. You think what is over here? This is what the your observation point, point is. Your observation point is. If, for example, you are exactly on the surface, the charge is actually on the surface, the induced charge. But we have considered it for mathematical calculation just inside. Now when you are exactly on the surface of the sphere, so on the surface of the sphere y will be equal to a, a. and then this one will go to zero. When this one is equal to zero, no induced charge you will see, right? Because you are just over there, you go away from it, then you will see the induced charge. So it means all of this is just apparent, hmm? not being real. It looks apparent, not real. No, it's real. It's just, it's it means if it depends on the other, on the on the on the which point it means it is just apparent. That is why it is changing. Okay, one of means one of my student, one of my student has plotted uh, field of uh, that equation, the electric field equation, and he has, you can say, for different charges, he has plotted uh, the equation. Like you are having one positive charge here and another positive charge here. What's the electric field here in the center? If they will be equal charges, then the electric field will be zero here. Clear? But if this one is 1 coulomb and this one is 10 coulomb, then where the field will be zero? Where it will go? This way or this way? It will go here. Like if from here are 5 points, from here 5 points, then it will come here. At this point, the field will be equal to zero. Right? So he has actually plotted this thing and it's really interesting that you are changing the magnitude and the field is just like this. That it's somehow like this one, like the induced charge. And you move the cursor here, you change the value of like this is your zero field. This is the electric field, this is the distance and this is the zero field, the zero value. You change the magnitude of your, this axis is actually moving up and down according to it. So, yes. so it, is, it is actually the magnitude of charge which will decide where the field will be equal to zero. Right? The but field will be zero. The observation zero. point is different. <laughs> if the observation point, in this case, if you have the same charge of same magnitude, mm -hmm. then um, According to the calculation, the electric field yes. at the midpoint will be zero. 
but if the observation point is different, yes, it will be different. And that's the thing which Jackson shows you, that is the thing which Griffin is not showing you. Like, you consider a positive charge and a negative charge, right? Yes. You consider a positive and a negative charge. What will be the field? 2 e. At this point, maximum, maximum, two times the electric field of one and other. What will be the field at this point? Less. Why this? Same charges are there. But now you are going away from the you are going away from the charges. And that's the reason. Your field is decreasing. What is your field? Kenny five over Kenny X is your field. Right? So you are going this way from them and you see that your field is increasing. And clearly 5 by clearly x is also utilized in this one, in sigma calculation. So your reduced charge is decreasing. So it is no more apparent, it is real. You go this way and your field will be again changing. Right? What's the reason? The reason for it is that these lines are actually curling to each other. So their strength is maximum here. This is the maximum strength line. While this line strength will be less, this further less and so less. And that's the reason the electric field will be decreasing. What Griffiths is actually telling you, it will always consider the straight line between the two charges. And that's the difference. When you see Jackson, then it will tell you that you are no more on the straight line. You are, you are changing your position, what happens, right? And here is the actual electrodynamics. Got it? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you.